guys welcome to today's video so today i'm going to be filming a cloth nappy haul um so i've actually shopped from two shops for this video the first one is kingdom of fluff uh, which is an online website and also lily's nappies which is the same i think you can go through lily's nappies via facebook but i can leave the links for both shops below um but yeah so let's get on to the video so um within the shops the Kingdom of Fluff sell different brands of nappies so what I've done is gone onto the website and picked up a few different brands to try so some of the nappies I've actually got like other nappies with the same brand and some of them um, I'm trying for the first time actually so I haven't used them I've just pre-stuffed them ready for today's video um, so the first nappy I've bought is a Baba and Boo um, I've actually got a few Baba and Boos actually at the minute it's one of my favourite types of nappies um, so I'll just show it you so here we go so this one is actually the playground theme so it's got dogs on swings slides and trees it's like a park um so what i like about baba and booze is actually it's so fluffy so soft and it's got a double gusset um so that just stops any extra leakage around the legs really because sometimes with some of the nappies i notice that they leak like in the groin area but this one's actually like a really good make that doesn't do that um, also the inserts are really good, they're Babber and Boo bamboo inserts, so I find with Vesme at the minute at 13 weeks old one of these is actually enough for about 3 or 4 hours, whereas with the microfiber inserts I can only get maybe about 2 hours from them unless it's stuffed with one of these as well. Um, so at the minute I've just shoved one of them in, you actually get 2 bamboo inserts with that which is really good. So the Babber and Boo I think is retailed at about £16.50 or £16.75, something like that. Um, if you go through Babber and Boo's own website, you can actually get them for about the same price. Although every so often they put one on at a sale price for about £11.95. So I've got about three or four that I've bought that are like sale prints, but they're still really nice. Um, it just makes sense to buy them in the sale, to be honest. <laughs> so that's that one. Um, so the next one, I bought two little lambs. Esme is actually wearing one of them at the minute, but this is one of them that I've bought. So I think this one is called Wear Your Stripes or something like that. And the other one that I've bought is um, Stand Tall, I think, and it's got giraffes on. Um, so I've never tried Little Lambs nappies, actually. I've got um, the Little Lambs nappy wraps, but I haven't got any like Little Lamb pocket nappies. So I thought I'd give this a go. The inserts are actually so nice. I'll just pull it out. So this is the insert. It's so soft um, and it's just bamboo. So I think I've got two with each nappy again. So that's one of them. Um, and I've also just pre-stuffed it with just an Alva microfiber fleece because I don't actually know how good these in inserts are going to be because like I said, I've never used them before. Um, so yeah, this is the nappy. Again, it's a pocket nappy. I've just put a fleece liner in there, but it's really nice and soft. The pocket's nice and easy to stuff as well. There's no double gusset on this one, but to be honest, if you like took it into the groin area really good, it should be fine. Um, and if you've got the right insert as well, then it will last longer. So I do really like this one actually. It's so soft. Um, so the one she's got at the minute, she's had it on for about three hours maybe. So I'm just going to try and test it and see if it lasts four hours. Um, and then obviously I'm happy to do another video in the future reviewing the different brand nappies that I've got and what's good about them. So um, what I didn't say is all of the nappies that I've got today are all birth to potty. So what that means is they last from about... Um, I think from about eight pounds upwards until like potty training really so they've all got three different rises if i can just undo it so that's the tallest rise so that would fit a toddler who's like about to potty train or whatever um and then you can button it onto the second one and then onto the last one so esme is obviously on the smallest rise at 13 weeks um, and there's still like loads of room on that size and of course with the extra poppers at the top you can adjust the waistband as well so there's loads of different things Esme has it on the smallest waistband too so that's that one um, I think these ones were around £11.95 each I'm not 100% sure um, but I do actually really like this the animal prints that Little Lambs have just bought out it's like a new collection so that's one of them so the next two nappies that I've got are Mama Koala. So I have actually got some Mama Koalas on pre-order that I ordered from I think TJ Nappies probably about two months ago and they're due in October. 
but I hadn't actually tried them to be honest so I thought like when I was looking on Kingdom of Fluff I thought actually I really like the hem pattern so I just went and ordered two um so this is what they look like so I haven't actually stuffed these at all I think the inserts are just inside so on the presses actually they're quite cute they've got like little koalas I'm not sure if you can see them and that's obviously poppered onto the smallest rise um so these come with actually two inserts as well so it comes with a newborn insert I think they are bamboo yeah bamboo inserts and this one's actually a one size insert but it looks like you can pop it to make it smaller if you want to so I've never actually seen inserts like that before like I said I just use Baba and Boo or um, like Alva or something like that so I've not actually seen inserts like that but I quite like them that you get to and they feel really nice good quality inserts so that again is a pocket nappy uh, where you can stuff the insert in the back um, to be honest you could just lay it on top with a fleece liner if you wanted to but sometimes um, I just put like a fleece liner inside and then I always stuff it in the back really just I think that works best for me so yeah that's that one I really like that print I think it's um, Paradise Garden or something like that I'm not 100% sure on the names I'm afraid but this one is exactly the same it's got the two inserts inside that it came with and that one is a really nice rainbow print there we go so they're both mama koala um so like i said they're brand new i've not tried them yet i have i've never used this brand before so i'm happy to do a review on them once i've tried them so the next two brands from from kingdom of fluff are alba nappies so i've got loads of alba nappies they retail at about four pack four pound fifty five pound fifty each which is a really good price obviously from looking between the two you can really tell the difference in quality um compared but they do the exact same job if you stuff it with the right inserts like say if you bought a baba and boo insert and put it in a nava nappy you would get a pretty much exactly the same amount of time out of them to be honest they're just as good except for they're not double gusseted but i think unless you've got a really heavy wetter you don't really need the double gusset it's just like, like a nice feature to be honest so um yeah this is one of the ones that i've got I think it might be something like Midnight Garden or something, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, so that's the Alva Nappy brand logo. Um, so I've just stuffed these. I think I got one free insert with each one. So that's the inside. So you can really tell like with the softness, the quality compared to the other nappies that I've got. But like I said, it just really doesn't matter. You can just put like a little fleece liner in there and it's just, just the same really. Um, so yeah, that's that. And again, these are like the birth to pop party where you can change the popper rise. And this is the next one that I got. And again, that's the Alva nappy with the hot, like the pocket at the back for the stuff. So these are actually the fleece liners that I use. You can make your own, like it's really easy. You just cut up a fleece blanket, but these are some cheap ones that I got off eBay. Um, and I just like the pattern to be honest. <laughs> they're a really good shape too so I just bought some standard size ones that fit all sizes rather than newborn so the next shop that I shopped in is Lily's Cloth so this is just the um the paperwork that came with so you can see the branding so from the shop I bought um three layer bamboo insert I bought two of them one four layer bamboo insert um, a Halloween nappy, a ladybird's nappy, two pumpkin nappies and a sunflower nappy. So it doesn't say the price, but I think altogether it came to £31. So I think the nappies were again about £4.50, £5 each. Um, so I was looking everywhere on the internet for some Halloween nappies. I really wanted a pumpkin one just because I really like the look of the autumn colours, the leaves and the pumpkin pattern. So um, this one was actually one that I found that did really good prices. So I'm not 100% sure if... Uh, Lily's Nappy sell any of the brands but they definitely just sell Alva from what I'm aware so again Alva's the one that I got from the other shop um so this is one of the my favorite patterns that I picked up so that's a nice pumpkin but I didn't buy inserts for all of these so I've just this is one of the bamboo ones that I just said that I bought but I've pretty much just stuffed them with inserts that I already had because I have got quite a lot that I've pre-bought from somewhere else so the same as the other nappies, it's the same pocket, same material um, and like I said I've just got a little fleece liner in there that I've cut up myself to be honest. <laughs> so 
So that's that one. This one I really like with the colours. I'm not a massive fan of dark lappies really. A lot of mine are like bright and flowery and pretty. But I think just for like when it's getting a bit darker nights. And I like the autumn feel like I said. So I did go for a darker one. And this is um, one of the other patterns of fleece liners that I've got. These little teddy bears. Next one I picked up again at Alva Nepi is this sunflower one. So I thought that was really pretty. And the next one is the ladybird. When I was looking on the website for the patterns, um, I think I mentioned it in my last video, I really like florals, I like animals, I like really girly prints to be honest. Um, but So I was looking at this and I thought, I'm really not sure if I like it. But I just picked it up last minute, I thought I'd only bought a few and Lily's Nappies had a summer sale on. So I think if you bought so many, you got so many off or whatever. So I think basically the nappy was free. So I did look back and I thought, you know what, I do quite like it and it's not, it's quite cheap. I'm not paying much, so I'll just pick it up. So yeah, I did that one onto my basket. So I think in the end, I got about £5 off the lot. So again, like I said, it, it was pretty much a free nappy really. So the next one is one of the reasons that I did actually decide to do the purchase in the first place. I've been seeing this print everywhere from Alva Nappy and I really wanted it. So it's this little mushroom print. It's so nice autumnal with the leaves and the toadstools. So yeah, I was really looking forward for that one. Um, and I'm so glad and excited that I've got it. So the next one is a Halloween one. I'm not like... I've been looking at Christmas nappies, but I've not actually found a design that I like. And they did have loads and loads of Halloween ones. So I just looked at it and thought, this was my favourite one out of the bunch. And I thought, it's not going to hurt to have one Halloween-y one. Although it's probably not going to get too much use. But like I said, for only about £4 something, you can't really go wrong. That's that one. So it's got little ghosts, um, pumpkins, leaves, and I think flowers or fireworks i'm not 100 percent sure what they are um but again i've stuffed that with one of my own so these are actually if i can get the insert out this is just what an alva insert looks like it's just microfiber um so like i said these are old ones that i've purchased before they've not had too much use because i really use that babber and boo inserts but if you pair a microfiber with a bamboo or something you'll get a really long time out of it to be honest um so yeah they are good inserts they really absorb them quite quickly but it's just if they are heavy wetters or they we like a lot in one go then it's not gonna it absorbs it quick but it doesn't hold it so you do need something like a bamboo to support it really um but because esme's still quite small and she's not she's doing like little wees and often so i'm not i've not really had an issue with any of my inserts like i said so yeah um just to mention actually if i can find it yeah. For Kingdom of Fluff I've got a 10% discount that came in the post so it's obviously not sponsored but it's just something that I thought I'd share with you guys if you wanted to pick it up. The discount is valid on the brands such as Babber and Boo, Bambino Mio, Buttons, Bamboo Tea, Close Parent, Grovia, Little Lamb, Little Love Bomb, Mama Koala, Petty Lulu, um, Smart Bottoms, Thirsty, Tickle Tots, Top Bots and Violets. Um, so that's the things you can get the discount off and it's 10% and it's only during September 2020. So, um, let me see. So yeah, what I can do is put this discount in the box below, but it's actually just Highland with a capital H. So if anyone wants to get 10% off an order with Kingdom of Fluff. So yeah, like I said, the nappies, the ranges that they've got at the minute, the prints are amazing. I'm just... Like, I don't really need anyone happy, but I just say that I'm in love with these prints, especially this Babber and Boo one. Um, I've seen this one designed, and when it came out, I thought I really want that. But I did think £16.50 was a bit steep just for a print that I, I like. But in the end, I caved and I got it. So <laughs> I'm excited to use that one for Esme. But that's the end of the video anyway. That's all the ones that I bought from these two places. What I'll do is I'll link the websites for both shops down below. And if you want to have a look, that's fine. Um, and like I said, there's a discount code if you wanted to use that off your purchase too. So thanks for watching the video. I hope you really liked this content and I'm looking to do some more cloth nappies videos in the future regarding my wash cycle, how I wash 
um, what nappies I use and what works best for us. And I could also do a review on other brands too. So I've got Bambino Mio's and a few others that I use as well regularly. So I'm happy to review them for you in the future. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.